Hey everybody, I'm Actors, and today I got some awesome bait for you all. Jesus Christ, more monkey teas? Yes, more monkey teas, it's bape. Yeah, I don't think I'm a big fan. What do you mean, you're wearing a bape shark hoodie right now? Yeah, but there's a shark on it. And shark eats monkeys, so that makes it better. Your logic for fashion doesn't make sense. Yeah, but it's Gucci. Okay, whatever, let's get into the unboxing. Okay, fun fact, actually really sad fact, uh, I ripped the bag trying to open up the packaging. I kind of sent it a little too hard with my knife and yeah, that happened. So be sure if you guys ever open up a packaging or something like that, don't use a knife, just, just be careful. Anyhow, here's the bait bag itself. Most bait items come in like this plastic bag. On the front we can see the bait ape logo. On the top it says a bathing ape. And on the bottom it says, Ape shall never kill ape, which is a reference from Planet of the Apes. Then once again we have that legendary, this bag is not a toy. Because who wouldn't want to be warned that their bathing ape bag might kill them. Anyhow, let's just open this thing up from the front. And here it is. Not seeing much because I gotta unfold it, but... Ah, here it is. <laughs> So here's the Bathing Ape College Tea. In today's video, we're gonna figure out if the Bathing Ape College Tea is worth it in 2020. And if you guys are enjoying the video so far, please like, comment, share, and subscribe this video. My goal is to get 4,000 watch hours better this year, and currently we're at 1,900. So we're getting there, but not that close. So with that out of the way, let's just get right into it. I kinda wanna get the background of this tea out of the way because there isn't really much to it. All you gotta know is this is Bape's iconic college tea. It's been around for a couple years and this thing retails for $100. First impressions of the tea is uh, there's not really a lot going on here for $100. As you can tell, probably the main selling point for this tea is branding. So that's probably why the logo is done pretty big on this. Anyhow, let's quickly go over the styling of this t-shirt. On the front of the tee, we can see the ape head logo right in the middle. And surrounded it, we can see big white text font that says, A Bathing Ape. And yeah, that's really all there is to it, to the styling. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I found a tag. I found a tag on the left sleeve right there. It's the little bathing ape head. Pretty neat. So for styling, I'm going to have to give this t-shirt a 7 out of 10. Like, it's good, but it could be better. All right, now for the quality of the t-shirt, judging from the tags on the inside, this t-shirt is made out of 100% cotton. And also the screen printing seems to be top-notch quality as well. Very rare where I see these t-shirts actually like cracked up and destroyed. So these things generally last a very long time. Now for quality of this t-shirt, I'm gonna have to give this an eight out of 10. Like yeah, it's just a normal plain 100% cotton tee, which is pretty standard for a good t-shirt. And the screen printing is done pretty well too. So that's really all I can say for the tee. Now for rareability, I'm gonna go ahead and put on this tee. So here's what the t-shirt looks like on body. See, I went with the all black tee and I really like it because this t-shirt can absolutely just go with anything. And the other neutral colors also help out with that. So I'm just wearing some plain old khaki shorts and that seems to do the job. But any kind of shorts or joggers also kind of work. Comfortability wise, it's pretty normal for a t-shirt. I mean, it's as comfortable as 100% cotton can get, so not too bad. And now for sizing, this has always been pretty weird for me for bait. They always say like bait runs small, so go to size up. But see, I'm a size medium and I go with a size medium and it fits just fine. So I would definitely go and recommend to try on bait before buying because you might be different like me. So overall, I'm actually have to give wearability a nine out of 10. Just because you can just wear this t-shirt with anything. Comfortability is fine and sizing, it just fits perfect. And now we're gonna get into the value of the t-shirt. Now for $100 for a t-shirt like this, it's really nothing too special. And the resale is also not that great, so it's not really much of an investment tee either. So for value, I'm gonna have to give it a six out of 10. It's okay, it's an okay value really. So my final verdict for the tee, I'm gonna have to give this tee a seven out of 10. So my final verdict for the tee, I'm gonna have to give this tee a seven out of 10. Cause styling is good, quality is great, wearability is amazing, but the value is just not really there. But is this t-shirt worth it? I'm a little 50-50 on it. <laughs> One thing I like about Vape is just it's normally a hypey brand that does attract people other than hypey. Like for instance, my Vape shark hoodie gets attraction anywhere. From hypeys and people are just wondering why I'm wearing a shark on my head. 
And I can definitely see this one drawing less attention, but still get a little bit from the hypebeast crowd. But this babe shirt, which I'm probably going to link in the description, I would say is the new move. So for the hypebeast crowd, I would say it's worth it. But for the normal streetwear crowd that wants to get into babe, I would really say it's not because there's better tees out there. And yeah, that really are all is to it to this t-shirt. So the babe college tee. What do you guys think about it? Like, comment, share this video if you enjoyed it. And last, but certainly not least, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.